In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Gantt chart in Project Insight. To find the Gantt chart, choose Views, Gantt chart. That takes you to the Gantt chart. Um, in this project, I see a very simple waterfall style project. There's uh, drag and drop capabilities on the Gantt chart. So I'll go through each one of them. You can create a predecessor relationship between tasks by clicking on the task that you want to, the predecessor to be. In this case, the task, task three, and then drag down to the task you want to connect. Um, the predecessor successor relationship was created and you can see that the tasks after task one in the second group were automatically shifted. You can also change the duration of a task by simply grabbing the task and reducing the duration by going back or by grabbing the front and moving it forward. That changes the uh, duration of the task. You can change the start date of a task by simply dragging it forward. In this case, it just forced the task to start on Monday the 9th and moved everything through. You can expand and collapse the Gantt chart from the right side, you'll see on the left side, on the left side you'll see the basically the same options as the task list. You can scroll the pane over to see all of the different uh, columns that you would normally find on the task list. You can edit one by double clicking on it, changing the duration to two days, saving it, that changed it to two days. So you can use the task list on the left and you can use the visual on the right when you're managing the Gantt chart. Other things you can do here is you can change the scale to say a week view. Now it shortens it so I can see a much bigger part of the plan when I go to the week view. Or if I go to the half day, it'll uh, make the plan a lot larger. So it depends on what you're trying to do. Our default is a normal day view, but we have half day, day, week, month, quarter. So for really super long projects, you can go to the quarter view. But the other thing is to change the columns on the left side, you can hit the display options, change the columns. The Gantt chart can also be filtered just like the task list. Um, these filters are available in both and there's a different video that explains all of the options for filtering. You can show the task name in the Gantt chart. You can show the critical tasks in red. You can have the Gantt chart scroll to today's date, which is a default. Um, you'll notice that today's date is marked in green.